Sometimes when we see celebrities, either on social media, television, or in person, we assume they have it all together, but we forget that they are also human. Well, here are some of the low points of some of your favorite celebrities. As a young person growing up, I have had to sell a camu on my head. You know, yeah, on a tray. You go like in the morning, like very early in the morning before I go to school. Buy a camu, you know. Mm. <laughs> That's why you should never underrate anyone. Uh, no matter the situation, you see them or you find them. When I go to UK and had to play at the Rio Festival Hall with Mary Makiba, then, oh my God, I'm like, that a camu selling girl. Girl that was selling a camel. You know, so be inspired. Be inspired, follow your dream, follow your heart, sit back and say, what is my passion in life? What can I do to better the world? And before you know it, you're already making an impact. When I came to Lagos here after school, I remembered I entered what is called 911. 911 is a kind of lorry found then that they will load Gary, load, load in, at the back. Then in between the driver and the loads, we have what is called second class. And that is where I sat. And could you believe that by the time I got to Ido and I came there, my box, my shoe, because it took us three days to, from, from Bender, from Midwest to Lagos, all my loads were loaded. You see, when you pass through such and when you become somebody, you look back and you look at what people are going through. It makes you to help others. When I decided to, do, to be an apprentice photographer, we were living in the Meter, and I would trek you know, from the Meter into Willoughby, uh, from Willoughby into cross the Leventis, into Ido, road past Ido, uh, railway station, go across the Kata Bridge, and then into Agbogbon, into Pro Street. And I Took that for one whole year, and then finally, when I got to when I got to London, I had to be a cleaner. You know, every morning, get out of the house by 4:30 to be to clean till 9 a.m. and then rush off to school. So I've done quite a lot of things like that, and I still continue to do that. And so, for me, it is part of one's development, and I didn't see that I was suffering. Occasionally, you know, you want to stop. You want to, you have cried many times. I've failed many times. But I've just got up. I get up again. People, there are a lot of people, I enjoy good will of some people who pull me up again and help me on my feet. And then I go on. I um, finished that film and I became very famous. As young as I was, I didn't even know what it was. All film, everybody would just be calling me. I'm like, what's wrong? What's going on? When the film was all over the place, so. I couldn't go to the market, and I used to go to the market a lot, you know, to go and buy all these second-hand, <laughs> all these second-hand outfits, and um, and then there was one day I went to the market with a couple of my friends, and I I just realized that I just couldn't buy these things anymore, because they would tease me. The 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 market, the people in the market, the the traders would always tease me and said, so you see, they come by Bentham boutique, you know, <laughs> so. That made me realize that, oh, so if I become a star, there are a lot of things I won't be able to do, or what. So I went back and I sort of said to myself, is this how I'm going to live my life? I won't be who I want to be, I won't be myself. And I said, no, I won't let that catch up with me. Just be who you are, no matter your craft, no matter how high you think you've become, still be that same person that the girl next door, still the girl or the boy next door that people can always relate to. Mm -hmm.